fitting that Aurelia, the law above, is punishing Mono Black. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of the Man of Man, and today we've got a juice up for you. Before we dig into the deck, make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this, and it does help out the channel tremendously. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive right into the deck here. We got Aurelia, Aurelia Angels, Aurelia the Law Above, the brand new Boros Angel. Flying, Vigilance, and Haste. I wish I had Life Link, but hey, three is pretty good. Whenever a player attacks with three or more creatures, you draw a card. Whenever you attack with five or more creatures, you deal three damage to each opponent, and you gain three life. Now, it is worth noting, this play this is whenever a player, so it doesn't even have to be you. So if you're playing against like an aggro deck or a convoke deck that goes nice and wide, you also get to draw a card when they attack you. It's worth noting, it comes up not too often, but still, Aurelia the Law Above, an excellent curve topper for a sort of aggressive, sort of like, um, yeah, I guess it's kind of aggressive. We do have to play with fire most importantly we've got the lightning helix lightning helix is back and i'm so glad to use this against model red it literally swings games dealing three damage not two but three damage and then gaining three life obviously lightning helix has just been like you know we, we all know what lightning helix is i'm so glad that it's back into standard and i like, can't can't be happier lightning helix it just says screw you to model red got giada i'm running four i know it's a little bit mm, a little shaky just because it's a legendary creature but giada is wonderful so i mean let's just get into all of our angels faster vigilance and usually they are using their spot removal on giada so if you have another one in your hand it's usually just it usually works out we do have the doorkeeper throw it has flash and flying it's not an angel but it does shut off abilities for your opponent so that's actually really really wonderful so it's not an angel but we do have we do need a board because with aurelia you do need those three creatures to attack so you do have to commit to a board and this is an early creature with flash and flying really really cool i do have the investigator i can't lie to you i well that new capenna angel that just kind of draws you a card immediately i think is a little bit better than this but this is a new card so we're gonna run it and give it a fair shake it's got flying vigilance and then the investigate is a little spotty because it you don't always even get it but i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong about this card we'll see resplendent angel steel seraph archangel of wrath and let's go and get into the aurelia's vindicator this is a brand new card flying lifelink in ward two Disguise for four. Whenever it's a turn face up, you're going to exile up to X other target creatures from the battlefield and or creatures from the graveyards. But now, when it leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to their owner's hands, not to the battlefield. It's not like a brutal Cathar. It works very differently. So you can exile uh, creatures from your own graveyards and you can exile from your opponent's battlefield. So this works in a really, really cool way. And then whenever it leaves, you get to put them back to their hands. So even if you do take something from your graveyard, you get it back to your hand. If you take something away from your opponent's battlefield, they goes back to their hands. It's not like a brutal Cathar. So that is really cool. I mean, kind of interesting. I think it's a really, really fun card. Obviously, the lifelink helps as well. Archangel of Wrath uh, helps out for lifelink. And I am running the Elegant Parlor and four Restless Bivouacs. I do prefer the Bivouac a little bit just because we do have creatures. And I have to kind of put the more emphasis on that. But we like to surveil early in the game as we only have Play of Fire. But other than that, this is Aurelia, the law above. Let's see how above the law she really is. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, consider joining and do all of that fun stuff. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Zuel, Zuel, how you doing here? Time to Zuel. Get your Zuel dicks going in. Zuel discs. All right, so let's see what we got here. Surveil one, we're on the draw. Not too bad, I got a Doorkeeper Thrall. Might as well get down our Restless Bivouac. Sure. Doorkeeper Thrall, let's see what we're playing against. This is Selesnia. Azusa's Many Journeys, okay. Let's see if we can get into the Doorkeeper Thrall. I don't really know if this is gonna be that fruitful, but we'll still try it out. Got the Play of Fire. I have seen a few of these decks though. I mean, Enchantment's making a big comeback with that one card that like acts as like removal. Jukai Naturalist, that's fine. We can kind of deal with this. Play of Fire, hopefully no Royal Treatment. No Royal Treatment, no problem. All right. I think we'll just go for this and just drop down. I mean, we could actually do this. I think this is kind of not bad. If I do this, go for the face down? Or do we want to go for the, the, the Investigator? I think I think we'll do this. Oh, screw it. It's got Ward 2. How bad can it be, right? This investigator is... Man, I've been hating on it all video. This thing's very, very underwhelming, though. Jukai Naturalist. Okay, well, Naturalist is fine. We can we can deal with this. This isn't that threatening. The parlor is a little enticing, but ultimately going in for a Lightning Helix and a Doorkeeper Thrall seems to be, like, the move. All right, I got plenty of land here, so... Let's just pass. Let's just pass. Sure. Sure. 
eventually the Vindicator does kind of do its thing. I mean, I don't know. I think we're, just, I think we're kind of just playing the long game here. Would you kind of naturalist? Obviously, playing down the enchantments. You know. Do they have draw power? They are showing the, what is it? I think this is like I think this is the Naya, so I haven't seen red yet, so maybe they are doing that. Case okay, here's the new Karlov card. So you may play an additional land in each of your turns, blah blah. And then you have to deal seven. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Yeah, I think we can kind of deal with that. Maybe I should have just gone for the lightning helix on the naturalist right away. So maybe I am a little maybe I'm dumb. Yeah. I guess it's better late than never. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I really should have done this. Because now they do get this down for no reason, which kind of really burns. Mm. I guess that wasn't... Yeah, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, let's go for the Elegant Parlor. And, you know... Oh, there we go. Aurelia, the Law Above. Now let's just go in for the Wojek. Uh, I think it's Wo Wojek Investigator. Swing on in. And now we can play with fire on something. And go for uh, the Aurelia, the Law Above. But... Yeah, in the case of the Lockdown House, not really used to playing around this thing. I guess we won't make the same mistake twice. If they do go, we can go with play with fire. Ossification. Don't really love that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's see what they take here. I guess we could play with fire on the Naturalist, sure. Next turn, we're going to put a pretty big beat down on them, so... All right, down to 17, that's not that big of a deal. And now here we go, baby. I'm not even gonna flip the Aurelia's a Vindicator because we have the Aurelia's the Law Above. Aurelia, let's go. And I swing them all, and now with Aurelia the Law Above, we get to draw a card. Pretty freaking sweet. Feels pretty good. Bang, 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 down to 13 they go. And for next turn, if they get if they get super crazy, I can just go for the Aurelia's Vindicator that I've been kind of plotting since uh, day one here. So here's that new card. Here it is. Unfortunately, they're going to get rid of the Aurelia the Law Above, which really sucks. But we can, what? Just turn face off X target creatures or the graveyard. I mean, we can get rid of this likeness of the Seeker, but, like, do I really care that much? It's not really doing a whole lot. I think we're kind of making decent pace like this. So... I just don't think I'm really that worried. I guess we'll do this and just kick it. Sure. Don't get the for another throw that way. Oh, 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 I, I am so dumb. It's everybody, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that one stung. That one stung. That was, um, we're going to give ourselves a crying face. That was bad. That was so bad. I did. I probably deserve to lose this game just on that alone, but ouch. All right. 10 to 14. That was, uh, very embarrassing, but okay. We got the get lost. I think, um, no, I mean, we got the get lost now with enchantment. We can bring back the Aurelia. I think that's just going to be what we do here, right? We just get back the Aurelia, the law above. Let's go for it. Get lost. And hopefully it lets me kind of like, I can't really click. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, let's go for the buried in the garden. Get back our lovely Aurelia, the law above. We can flip this now. Is this lethal? Hold on, is this lethal? Four, eight, nine. It is not. It is not actually. Nope, it's not. But we can still go for the rest of the bivouac. And swing on in, ba bam, ba boom. We get to draw, and that is gonna be it. Aurelia, the law above. Alrighty, so we got K about uh, about K to the twelfth degree. How you doing here? Got Fang of, Fang of Shigeki. Now I have not seen Fang of Shigeki in a hot second. Um, just like I, they're running enchantments. This is definitely something a little bit new here. Fang of Shigeki. Spirit. So, okay, so go Spirited Companion. I guess with the um, why are running the Fang of Shigeki? I guess with Fang of Shigeki, there's that new card. I mean, they still have, like, Bite Down and stuff like that. But I actually had, um, in my mono green deck, I have Bite Down with the uh, Katilda 2-2. Uh, two, two. I think that's fine. We have Get Lost. I think we should probably just get lost that now. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just get lost to Katilda now. Sure. But yeah, as far as, like, the Fang of Shigeki here, I mean, I know they have, like, whenever you deal pow deal damage with uh, Death Touch, that is kind of, um, kind of a nice thing here. I'm going to go for Giada. Instead of the Doorkeeper Thrill. If they have another Spirit of Companion, it just kind of is what it is. So, Hollow to Haunting. Okay, so maybe that's why they have that thing in Shigeki. To kind of get their enchantment count up. But yeah, Kappa Tech Wrecker. Kappa Tech Wrecker was the card I was trying to think of here. So, I'm assuming with Giada. Giada obviously having Vigilance. We'll go ahead and get our damage in. And now I can actually go for the Archangel of Wrath. We actually are not running um, black. But we can't kick this for red. And oftentimes, that's pretty okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of the thing of Shigeki. Just to get rid of that Death Touch. I don't know if they are running. Gosh, I keep forgetting what it was. 
Um, it's the sorcery, just deal damage. You get a, it's like bite down, but sorcery speed. It's the new card in Karlov. I forgot what it's called. All right, here, seal from existence. Gonna get rid of my Archangel of Wrath. We can get that back, possibly. I'm trying to think here what I can probably do. We have, um, we have get lost for that. We also have just a lightning helix, and lightning helix just kind of wars off mono red so well, but unfortunately, we're not placing mono red right now. Restless Bivouac. Okay, let me kind of think here. I, uh, I don't think there's really a whole lot we can do. I mean, obviously, you have another Giada. Let's just swing in and hold up the Lightning Helix. And we got the Doorkeeper Thrill. But yeah, um, the Hollow Haunting doesn't make me feel good. They do have the Spirited Companion, so hopefully we can go for the Doorkeeper Thrill. And that will help out versus the Spirited Companion. Okay, here we go. Spirited Companion. So they do get the Hollow Haunting trigger. But let's go in for the Doorkeeper Thrill. We'll at least deny them a card. It's at least something. Boom! Doorkeeper Thrill. We are closing the door on the puppy dog. Get back into your little uh, dog house there. You're a good boy, but not today. Alright, so there's only two more cards left in their hand. I think we're looking kind of okay here. They are swinging. I don't... Uh, let's just say, do I want to... Like, we could go for Lightning Helix to kind of take down their, um, their, their spirit count here. Um, the Investigator's pretty okay. I think I'm gonna swing in with just Giada and not the Doorkeeper. Having Vigilance also very nice. But let's go in for the Woe Jack Investigator. And now we got the Lightning Helix that we're holding up. I think we're looking kind of okay. I don't know, though. I, I really don't know. Alright, well, this is this is actually really, really easy. Hollow Haunting, let's go ahead for the Lightning Helix on the Spiritual Companion to kind of get rid of this Catilla nonsense, because that could get ugly quickly. Yeah, goodbye. No way. So now these are 3-3s, three which is a little nerve-wracking. Um, they don't they don't swing in. Well, obviously the investigator, but now we have the Aurelia, the law above. We are looking good. Drop it down. A 6-6 six, six, Aurelia, the law above. And now we swing in. Let's go. We have to swing in with three so that we get our card draw. And as, I'm gonna keep the doorkeeper throw back just in case. But as long as we get three, we get that card draw, sun down pass, no big deal. And we're looking good. Three to twenty-two. Let's drop this down, and now we can go for the clue token. And I think we're looking good. I The only thing I'm a little nervous about is obviously they can start flying if they get, what, four more spirits out here? They can start flying. That's pretty scary. Oh, and the mighty ropers strike again. But fortunately, we are going to take this and they give it up forcibly. But we take the W. Okay, I think we can probably work with this. We do have the Archangel of Wrath. We got the Brussels Bivouac. Um, yeah, we're okay. The Surveil Land and the Rustless Bivouac, overall very, very big fans of it, uh, can make a fire a little bit awkward if they don't have anything for turn one, but I think we'll be okay here. Okay, and decide, okay, we are going to play, it's always, a, it's always rough when they just like, like, I can understand roping out of like anger and frustration later in the game, but at the beginning, really? Okay. Go with the resplendent. I think I'm gonna keep the resplendent angel. Only three land, which is maybe a little bit, um, a little bit not great. But we do have the steel seraph, and the steel seraph with the resplendent angel is always uh, really fun to play. So, now uh, novice inspector. I'm assuming this is just gonna be like the boros convoke. So let's see what they're gonna do here. Uh, Epicure. I guess that's a little bit better than the gleeful demolition. Uh, turn two gleeful demolition is pretty gosh darn brutal. But I'll do it this way. We get to hold the play with fire, and we gotta get down that restless bivouac anyway. So resplendent angel, maybe a little bit too. Maybe a little too aggressive of a keep there. Maybe we could have just gone for the Archangel of Wrath. We're definitely going to have to use that for the uh, for the, the life gain here. But I think we're going to probably... Uh, I don't love doing this. But if they play down something else, maybe like a Warden or something else kind of uh, more nefarious, we have the, the Plate of Fire. So, And it looks like they're going to miss a land drop, which is beautiful for us. But we did take an extra one damage here by not going for the Plate of Fire. But hindsight's 2020, so it is what it is. And I think now we're going to get down... Resplendent Angel. If they got some sort of removal, we'll just kind of use that. I think the Steel Seraph coming down second anyway is not too bad because we have the Life Link, and then yeah, I think I kind of like going for the Resplendent Angel here. Let's just put this down. If they have like a Get Lost or something, just kind of put out the Angel. We don't really need to need it. Lethal Demolition. As long as we get the Life Game going, and they don't have like one of those Knight, the Convoke Knight, I think we're still looking kind of okay here. Oh, there it is. You know they always have it, but I guess to be fair, if they don't have the land, if they don't have land, that means they have a lot of creatures, so that means they probably most likely have a knight. But let's see what the knight is going to bring us. Uh, Regal Bunnycorn? Yep, okay, that's fine. Fine-ish, especially if they miss another land drop. Ooh, they, it looks like they're going to miss another land drop, which is kind of beautiful for us. So now we do have the Archangel of Wrath. 
We do have the Archangel of Wrath that we can cast next turn with the kicker. So now we have to decide. Do, we wanna go, do I want to go for double get lost? I think I kind of do. It's kind of sucky. But still Seraph. Mm, it's close. It's close. Because if I go for the Steel Seraph, next turn we go for the Archangel of Wrath and then the Resplendent Angel, we would be able to get our Angel token. But this way, if I go for two get lost, well, there's another knight. Good lord. Okay, so now I can get lost on the two knights. And I think that's a pretty good value. We do give them the tokens from the get lost, but I don't know. Maybe that was a misplay. It was either that or just going for the Seraph and then the Archangel of Wrath can kind of... Um, I think that would have been five life. So maybe I'm a little bit... Um, a little bit of buyer's remorse here, but yeah, oh, oh, what was that? That was, a, that was a trick move there. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get lost. We already committed to the double get lost instead of the Steel Seraph. So let's go ahead and do this. Get lost. And if they drop the Regal Bunnycorn, I think I'm going to have to just take care of the Bunnycorn. Or they might, yeah, they might be, since they're stuck on land, they might just be tempted to go for the map token. So, uh, Evangelist, I imagine they'd get rid of that. Because yeah, they, they really want some land, I'm sure. All right. So, if they're going to do that... Oh, I, they could still have land. I don't know. Blood token, and they're going to go for Gleeful Demolition. Okay, well, uh, not much we can do about that. So, let's just go ahead and get lost on this knight and be on our way. They couldn't. We couldn't even... Um, another get lost. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just do the thing. Let's go for Archangel of Wrath, and obviously we can kick it now. So, um, kick it. Yeah, we do have to... Pay? Pay one? Oh, that's kind of yucky, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get, uh, I guess the uh, inspector. It doesn't really matter. They're all kind of uh, theoretically like the same things, and I think we probably can start swinging in. Yeah, it's a little close. I mean, especially if they drop like an Imidane's Recruiter. Yeah, but they, they would need a, okay, so I was going to say, okay. It's still pretty bad. I was going to say, they need a land and a War Leader's call, or an Imidane Recruiter. I really wasn't expecting the call, but uh, that's okay. But now we're, we, now we're good to go. Now we got the Archangel of Wrath, and now we really can go for the Steel Seraph and hold up another Get Lost. So I think we're actually pretty gosh darn good. Steel Seraph's going to give the Resplendent Angel lifelink, and now with the Archangel of the Wrath and the Resplendent Angel, boom, boom, we go up six, and then we get our Angel token, and now we hold up a Get Lost. I think we have enough firepower to take it. This War Leader's Call is annoying, but what I can do for the Get Lost... The Get Lost can actually just take care of the War Leader's Call, rather than just like one of these little creatures. And I think that might be the move. So let's see what they want to do here. Another War Leader's Call? Okay, that's actually fine. That's actually completely fine with me. So, yeah, I, I think we're okay here. I'm actually going to double block, and they're tapped out. This is actually wonderful. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get lost on one of these War Leader's Calls. And that's going to take these three threes down to two twos. And they're, that's going to be GG's. And they scoop it up. Good game story so far all right well so far we got a little story for you i'm, I'm gonna keep this looks pretty good to me pretty standard hand here actually like a really good hand actually yeah this looks really good let's go for the parlor see if we can get some i'm gonna go for a land yeah land's fine we do need aurelia the law above and the five drop so let's do it let's do it baby deep cavern bat unfortunately probably gonna absorb our get lost but i don't know actually you never know you never really know what they're gonna do with this little bat thingy here Got a decent little curve. Yeah, you're going to take that away. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and drop you. And we'll be able to go in for our Steel Seraph. Archangel of the Wrath can still pick off the bat. So, Celestis in a mono black deck is definitely not really... Wasn't really on my bingo card. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and drop our Steel Seraph. And we'll be okay. Yeah, definitely the Celeste is kind of throwing me off here. What's up with that? What's up with that? Alright. Go ahead and give it lifelink as if it matters. It does not. That's okay. Maybe they hey, maybe they had the Celestis and they were gonna fight me. Maybe it's the maybe it's the uh technically mono black, but uh go Gary fight rigging. So definitely don't really love the Shelly here. So now we gotta make a decision. Decision be damned. Be decision be damned. I was gonna say maybe it is possible that we go in for the hold up the Archangel of Wrath so that we can pop open the deep cavern bat so we can shoot this Shelly with the newfound to get lost, but now we are good to go. Lightning Helix out of the Deep Cavern Bat. Unless they've got something up with the Celestis here. And now we can just get lost on the Shelly. Now we're looking good. That turned out very, very well. And now we got an Archangel of the Rat. Oh, we're looking good. We are looking absolutely glorious. And I go, let's call Lifelink. In case we see another Shelly, I don't know how we're going to deal with it. So we might as well get our Lifelink in now. Still thrown off by the Celestis. Not sure what this is all about. I'm, I feel like they got something up their sleeve that I'm just not prepared for. I guess there's not really a whole lot to prepare for. If they're going to go nighttime, that means I just can't really cast stuff. Okay. 
Alright, Celestis. So the story so far has been the Celestis. Let's see if this is a good story for them. The Cutdown. Cutdown doesn't really do a whole lot. So I gotta make a decision. Um, do I want to go for the Archangel of Wrath and then just kick it? Or do I want to just go straight in for Aurelia? I think we're gonna go in for Aurelia. Worst case scenario, if they don't do anything, I can go for Sakenzin and we can get our card draw that way. Let's do it. Aurelia, the law above. And we get our massive Boros Angel. All right, let's do this. And the Steel Seraph's gonna help us out here. I think we'll just go for Lifelink. Sure. Lifelink, we already got Flying. Lifelink, Flying, Vigilance, and Haste next to our Steel Seraph. And let's go ahead and swing in. And the Aurelia, the law above. And it's a little, it's, it's pretty fitting that Aurelia, the law above is punishing Mono Black. All right, so let's see. Hopefully, no. Even though Gix's command wouldn't be that bad, but there is that new black card. I forgot what it's called, but it is a sweeper. There it is. Oh my god, no way. No way. No way. Ouch. Come on. There it is. I knew I had. My spidey senses were tingling. Oh, man. That's rough. Dang it. That's rough. So now I'm going to collect evidence six and get rid of the Aurelia. Wow. So. I guess sometimes evil prevails, ladies and gentle mages. Wow. Deadly cover up. Aurelia goes down to the mono black. And just flavor wise, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. And a sundown pass. Now we are so, so, so wetting. I don't like that at all. So I think that our only option here is to go for the Archangel of Wrath. And let's go ahead and kick it, of course, and just hit them in the face. We're not going to make it reset to nighttime or daytime. Um, we only have one swap. Oh, oh, bitter triumph. Oh my god. All right, at least we get a little bit of action on the seven there, but we're flooded to the teeth. I mean, this is bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of 15. It's pretty bad, but we still have the sockens in, so everything's not all lost yet. I guess they do have a demolition field, so. Yeah, I think we're just gonna drop the resplendent angel. Don't really see another alternative here. If they do have another bitter triumph, that is unfortunate, but. Let's do it. Sockin's in. All right. All right. These guys haste. These work really well with the Aurelia that you so rudely covered up. You covered up Aurelia's death. I mean, it doesn't get more sinister than that. All right. So kind of hanging on, hanging on. We don't have, we can't top deck into an Aurelia, the law above, which sucks. Cause it has haste. And right now we need a little bit of firepower. Oh, Liliana's not that bad. We can, Enough we can handle this. With the mysteries. I've come for answers. We've come for answers. Hopefully they don't find an answer to the Resplendent Angel. Because we can... I mean, this is good enough for lethal. Liliana just gets rid of one of these tokens. That's fine. Hopeless Nightmare does not do anything. We got 29 life here. Yeah, let's do that. This is okay. <sighs> Sacrifices must be made. Sacrifices must be made. I think we are good to go. Even if we don't get the Resplendent Angel, we still got the Play of Fire. I don't want to throw up my hands up yet. I, I'm not Miley Cyrus. Let's not do that yet. Maybe we are Miley Cyrus? I throw my... Let's go! Let's go! It's a party in the USA! Promise Ring. How you doing here? How you doing, Promise Ring? I'll right, we'll go ahead and keep this. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, turn two, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for the Doorkeeper Thrall or the Giada. Probably the Giada, just because we have the Archangel of Wrath, but we'll see. Spyglass Siren. Alright, alright, alright. I think we'll just go for Giada, but I don't know. I don't know. I think turn two to go for a schooner. We'll just go for Giada. Let's just go for Giada first. If they obviously this thing, the Starkeeper's roll is really nice though. Like when this works and they flat and you flash it in. It's only happened once so far. Um I wasn't even recording it, but I was kind of playtesting. And it was pretty awesome. I gotta admit, it was pretty cool, but. Oh, man, an obviously, uh, Inspector. I mean, just to investigate. It's not the end of the world, but I don't love it. It's not the end of the world, but it is what it is. Um, this has got to be a shore up, right? Like, what? I'm taking it. If you got shore up, yeah, I, I don't know. That's weird. We'll take it, though. I'm a little peeved off. There's you just... Mm, eh, okay. All right, no problem. All right, so now what do we want to do? I think no joke. I mean, going for the Vindicator and actually doing this, doing the face down, I think if we get this down early, this could actually prove kind of fruitful. Yeah, and this thing has Ward 2, which actually is pretty freaking nice. 
Giada has Vigilance, and I think we'll be okay here. That's swinging in with the Spyglass Siren. I don't know, though. It's... Uh, I think Shore Up obviously would be pretty devastating, so I'm going to respect it and just let him have it. I got the Face Down card, Aurelia's Vindicator. If you bring this up and, like, I mean, it could be a bomb late in the game. I've never really done it, but hopefully we can kind of do this. The Chico's Rain of Truth? What is going on here? Why are you swinging with the Spyglass Siren? Are you trying to punk me out? I guess I'm going to say no. We do have the Archangel of Wrath. I'm going to say no, but very weird. Alright. I just can't, I can't believe it. Like, my guy, I can't believe I think I'm getting punked and I don't like it. Alright, so we got the face down card. We can kind of do some stuff here. I don't really think that's really the move. I think we're kind of okay. Let's do this. Let's swing in. Bang, bang. And then we can use Giada. And then we can kick it. I think this is probably the best move here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just pop the Spyglass Siren. Because I'm really mad at the Spyglass Siren for swinging in on me. What? What? Show some respect. What was going on there? All right, but she goes Ran of Truth. I think this is okay. We're going to win the War of Life gain Because we do have this face down card, which is Aurelia's Vindicator. And we got the Archangel of Wrath. I think we're okay here. No, oh, I think, like I said, um, what is this, like a Zorius? They're probably gonna go for like the Zoetic Oh, Tinker's Toe. What on earth? Create two one ones. All right, I guess that is a card. Like getting through life this way. All right. I think we're looking good though. I mean, gotta get lost, gotta doorkeeper throw. We could actually go in for the Aurelia's Vindicator, but I don't know if we really have that many targets that I really care that much about. I'm gonna say no for now. I'm also not going to swing in with it either. We're just going to kind of hold still. And maybe next turn we can go for lethal this way. But I want to keep up the doorkeeper throw. I think this thing's uh, pretty interesting. Plus we got the get lost. I don't think we're that threatened. I just don't think we're that threatened right now. We can transform this swing with a vindicator. They'll never see it coming. They'll never see it coming. They got like a, I guess a brutal Cathar. I don't know. We can shut that off with this thing. We also have a restless bivouac to kind of put some pressure on. So... I don't know. Gain three life with this. Mm, I don't know. I think we're okay here. I'm waiting for like the Zoetic Glyph. Glyph. That's kind of what I'm waiting for here. Okay. They're swinging in, huh? Oh, that's a misclick. Oh god, I just—I was gonna block. I actually, did, honest to god, I was gonna block. I was like, I just double clicked it. It's a little too fast. Is what it's not the end of the world there, but I was gonna double click there, especially with the get lost and the doorkeeper here. But it's not that big of a deal here. So, uh, behind the mask, it becomes a four-three, right? If evidence was collected, one-one. This is fine. Sure, whatever. If they do anything super crazy too, I just go for the get lost. Should I just do it now? Should I just flip this face up now? Like, the, the world's our oyster right now. We'll take it. I don't know. Just... Alright. <laughs> I don't know. I feel, like I, I feel like I'm, like, walking on a thin sheet of ice right now. I guess we'll go for the doorkeeper. I mean, this is lethal. Two doorkeepers and an archangel. We don't even need to flip open the, the vindicator here. So, alright, let's, let's try this. And this is not an angel. But it flies. It's got wings. It's close. I guess, right? Turn face up. We'll pay one. Pay one. Boop. Boom! Peekaboo! Got Aurelia's Vindicator. I guess we'll just get rid of the portrait of Michiko. I guess? Do they have two removal spells? I mean, this has ward too as well. Um, these aren't, no, this is a clue token. Tinker's Toe, and they can, they can gain life this way? I mean, they need, they need to do something, though. This gains three. I guess they could. I'm swinging in. Eliminate the impossible. What the hell is it? Oh, oh my god. Creatures your opponent's control get minus two, minus zero, and then... Oh, they just they lose suspect. They don't gain suspect. They lose it. And then they can sacrifice the Tinker's Toe. 
Okay, you know, we still do a little bit of damage and we get a little bit of life backs and the Giada can block, worst case scenario. So I don't think they can really march through 18 damage here. What the heck is this thing? Case of the Falcon. You control three or more artifacts, yada yada. If they solve it, they can put four plus one plus one counters on target non-creature artifacts. I just don't think we're that threatened. I think we're like just sailing pretty smoothly. Got the Aurelia's Vindicator, a very, very cool card. Hopefully we can finish the game with Aurelia. Law above, that'd be kind of nice, so. Novice Inspector, <laughs> yes! So we get the Doorkeeper Thrill to successfully shut them off. So, hey, the Doorkeeper did something. Pretty cute card here. No investigation for you. You've investigated enough. And I think the, uh, the, the, I think the mystery is just about solved, Scooby. Only two left? I don't really see how they're gonna be able to prevent seven life here. I mean, I guess they could go for eliminate the impossible again. That would help, that would save them for another turn. But, oh, oh promise ring, promise ring, come on, baby. Okay, and they're gonna pass the turn. There's nothing they can do. They got the play with fire. Promise ring, you didn't have to rope. You didn't have to rope, my friend. It's a shame it had to come to this promise ring. We're going to attack it. Hopefully it doesn't give you another chance to rope. Good lord. Swing it, please. Thank goodness. Death to all ropers. That was brutal, but GG's. Or while, how you doing? We got a parlor. Yeah, we're on the draw. We got some Aurelia action here. I think we're okay. So, I mean, I actually kind of welcome Mono Red. I don't really love Mono Red on the draw. It's a little scarier. But having the Lightning he Helix is so wonderful. I think we can't really scoff away the land here. Got two forms of removal. We got a Doorkeeper Thrill. But this Lightning Helix... Lightning Helix just says screw you to Mono Red so much. And it's just such a beautiful card. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Eh, is what it is. Down to 16. I think Mono Red, you could do a little bit better than that, though. So... But then the turn, let's not get too hasty. Let's not to get too hasty. We are Boros. We're a little aggro ourselves. But yeah, Godric, this is fine. Lightning Helix, this Godric, and that feels absolutely beautiful. Not only do we get the gain three life, but they get rid of a Godric. I mean, it just feels so efficient. All right, now we're getting a little bit ner more nervous. Um, can't go in for... Yeah, double white doesn't really matter. It's either a get lost or a doorkeeper. Don't really think the Doorkeeper is all that relevant versus Mono Red. There's not really a whole lot of Enter the Battlefield type of abilities. So, a Godra comes out to play, and we'll just go ahead and kill it with the Get Lost. Take another three. It's not wonderful. We would curve out a little bit better, fingers crossed. Oh, good lord. Yuck. Absolutely yucky. So, we just got a Doorkeeper Thrill. Really wanted a non-land card there, because we do. Oh, we already have five land for the Aurelia, but in every... Especially when you're on the draw. Especially when you're on the draw. You need to be as efficient as possible versus Mono Red. So that is pretty brutal. I think I'm actually just going to chump block the door with the Doorkeeper. Hopefully they don't have the Monstrous Rage. If they do, I mean, this is pretty brutal. I do wish Aurelia did have a um, um, Life Link. That would be nice, but beggars can't be choosers. And if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. Play with fire. Yeah. Praying for no monstrous rage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a chump block. I mean, there's just there's just nothing else to do here. <laughs> God. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if they got the monstrous rage. Oh, they never. not have it and the game oh my god the game's over the game's literally over i can't um i can't block the two so very disappointing but mono red even with the lightning helix we just uh don't curve out properly still formidable opponent flying teapot how you doing here looks pretty good looks pretty good we got the doorkeeper thrill when this card's good it's great when it's not eh. Actually, I think we might be kind of in luck here. I think, uh, especially if it's like Mono White here, we they have a lot of Enter the Battlefield type of abilities, so we're looking good there. Get down the rest of Spivuac, and we'll see what we can do. Plenty of life gain. This deck, I mean, the... Man, I don't know. I, I really like how this is going. With the Aurelia, get that card draw. What's nice about the Aurelia is even when the opponent attacks with three cards, you still get it, so that's great. Another rest of Spivuac is a little awkward. I think we're going to go ahead and just keep up this Doorkeeper Thrill. And we'll be on our way here. Resolute Reinforcements. There we go. Doorkeeper Thrill. Let's go. 
That's right. That's right. You do not get another little token for your troubles. Absolutely no way. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Doorkeeper thrills. Doing work. Doing work. This dude is so annoying. It's like, it's just the perfect amount of annoying. That two toughness is is just like, it. Mwah, I just love it. I just love it. All right, so the Aurelia Law buff can be kind of relevant if they're going to swing in with three, uh, three creatures of themselves. Looking a little bit more likely now. Hopefully they don't drop a Knight Errant of... Oh, they do. A turn three? I mean, at least we don't get... Yeah, as I say, at least... The 4-4 four, four is still not great, but at least they don't get it with the Doorkeeper Thrall. I'm really liking how this is uh, playing out. I think we just do this and go for the Get Lost, or I could go for the Steel Seraph. Let's just do this and go for the Get Lost. I, it's kind of sucky, but we have to get down this Rust's Bivouac, so... I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking. You know, I think if they just do like a full march, I might just go for the Doorkeeper Thrall and just pick off um, two of these 1-1s one -ones and just take something. So we have a little bit to give here. Okay. Maybe I do do that. Maybe that is the move. I think so. I mean, we, we can, we can, yeah, this is fine. I mean, we... I guess down to 12, which is not great, but we did pick off. So we did thin their board out a little bit. And then we have the Archangel of Wrath now. Still got a Sundown Pass for Splendid Angel. The alternative, I mean, I would like the Archangel of Wrath to be able to pick something off. I think we're just going to go... I think we're just going to do this. I would like to kick it, obviously, but who doesn't like kicking it old school, you know? Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and do this. If they've got a get lost or something, it's pretty brutal. But I don't know, a lot of times these decks don't do that. I'm, I'm not going to swing in with these things. we got to keep this back. A lot of times these decks go like full-blown like creature like or like board presence. So they're swinging in here. Okay, yeah, I think we can afford maybe one more. We have to steal Seraph, we can start giving this thing Vigilance. I don't love doing that, though. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. And another Knight, well, okay, at least it's just a Vanilla. Doorkeeper's gonna go bye-bye. And the Novice Inspector says, no way, Jose, that's really nice. So, maybe, man, man we might we might have just got punked, though. That doesn't feel very good. All right, let's go for our Steel Seraph. Absolute no-brainer. I, I really wish we got out into a land here, but at least we do have Vigilance. That we can start swinging in here, which is nice. Get a little bit of lifelink going on here. And being able to stomp out these knights really, really help. You have the rest of this bivouac. You know what? I mean, at this point... I, yeah, I'm really annoyed by this. Maybe we just chump block? Maybe, maybe we don't do anything. Maybe we do. Should we double block this thing? That way they get rid of, what, the Archangel? Man, I don't... Mm. Maybe we just do this. I think this is the best move. Just one chunk block, go down to seven. Hopefully we top deck into a land. Imidane's Recruiter. Okie dokie. We got a Lightning Helix. Okay, that's not really great. I think we're going to do the same exact thing. We need a land really badly. All right. Yeah, Lightning Helix is just not really going to do it. Of course, the Emanade's Recruiter, we don't get the buff from that, so it's kind of nice. But let's go for the Steel Seraph and do the same exact thing. Get the Vigilance going. Obviously, we need that Precious Life Link. And now we got the Lightning Helix and a Get Lost. All right. We don't get the plus one, plus zero. Obviously, because we have our cute little Doorkeeper Thrill here. And they're going to go for the Restless Bivouac instead. Okay. If this is what they're committing to, I think we just go for the Lightning Helix now. Kill you, you're the biggest threat, you get plus one, plus one, counters other things, and we can get lost as soon as they attack. I think we're looking okay. Yeah, alright, get lost. Got it, oh, they, wow, we take it, we don't even get to drop the Aurelia, but GG's. How are we doing here? Yeah, looking good. The doorkeeper thrill, man. Really liking how this card's working out. Really liking that. Let's go for the rest of this bivouac and be on our way. This investigator still not. I still don't think it's great, but I'm waiting for it to prove me wrong. Plus, it's a new card, so we're obviously gonna run it. We're, we got our new cards. Come on, it's Carloff Manor. We're gonna run the Carloff Manor cards. So. All right. Let's see. What we got here Blood Tithe Harvester, doorkeeper thrill. No blood token for you. Not really the craziest thing, but you know, still pretty cool. And I think we're just going to go in for the Investigator. Uh, Angel's a little bit better later in the game. I think we're going to go in for the Investigator. 
Yeah, this is fine. We actually ward off the, the Harvester pretty well here with the poor toughness. So, all right, doing work early. Feels pretty good. Um, if they don't, if, if this survives, we do get to investigate, which could be really, really nice as well. So maybe, um, you know, it's either this or that one uncommon card from New Capenna. Uh, the name escapes me at the moment, but, um, go for the throat. Works the same as anything, but yeah, I think overall that other card's still better. You just get that free draw. Uh, I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I think that other card's a little bit better though. This is a little bit too fragile in my opinion. But, you know, I'm, again, it'll prove me wrong eventually. I'm running I'm running a couple. I'm running a couple, too. So let's just go ahead and drop the Resplendent Angel, and I'll swing in. I'm definitely not blocking this little Harvester, and it will be okay. Uh, Angel does take six, a whopping six to get that lifelink. But uh, maybe go for the rest of this Bivouac. I don't know. We'll see. Got to be a little nervous here. This is Rakdos. Rakdos has been good. Rakdos mid-range has been pretty formidable for a while. Carnosaur on the Resplendent Angel, so we're kind of just going one for one. Now, I mean, hopefully we don't get too flooded here, and we're getting a pretty flooded here, and that sucks. But, I guess we'll just do what we can. I guess we're just kind of racing here. I'm going to swing and put this on the little throw. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but we just still have the Lightning Helix if they do get into race mode. But I think, ultimately, we're going to be in race mode, because they have more of the like, bigger stuff. They've got the big Carnosaur, they probably got like a Tally and stuff like that, so... And this Harvester's actually doing work, too, so it's not really that good. All right, we got another door, uh, Doorkeeper throw. Not too bad. It is. It could be a lot worse. I mean, obviously, a Tally, we could kind of shut off, so it's nice. I think we're just going to do the same exact thing. No land destruction, no lands to worry about. So, okay. Hanging in there. Let's see if they're going to kill the uh, the Thrill here. Uh, yeah, all right. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Worst case scenario, we still got this Lightning Helix to deal with the Harvester. And if they do drop like a Tally or something, we just drop this cute little Thrill. Now, I don't know how we kill it. That's going to be another story. I think we're going to have to take this for at least one, at least one, maybe more turns. I mean, it is what it is. We got the Doorkeeper. We're going to have to be vigilant. But um, yeah, I'd rather just drop it. Play with fire. Okie dokie. Let's just do the thing, I guess. We still have enough for a lightning helix and a play with fire, so we're trying to race them, I guess. Alright. Don't have quite enough. We're just one off from being able to finish them off. Play with fire and a lightning helix, but this is fine. I guess we're just kind of an unexciting man. I mean, I don't want to say it's unexciting. Definitely not sexy, but I I'm having fun. Doorkeeper throw. Can't go for a tally or anything super crazy. They swing in here. I'm going to take this and hope. Ooh. Okay. So now. Oh, this is a good game. Well, I don't know if it's a good game yet. I'm going to go ahead and go for the play of fire on the harvester. I'm going to go for it. I, I'm going to go for it. Lightning helix. We also got uh, the two bivouacs here. And I think we have enough for two, right? All right. Double bivouac. Let's go. Bivouacs win. Bulls up. 